y'all for those of you that are new to the channel or you've been watching and you don't know what my name is my name is Teresa but on this channel I am known as Risa welcome everybody what's going on how y'all feeling so I'm doing all right um been taking care of some things today uh, for those of you that don't know, my husband has a channel. And to all the negative people, okay? And I'm going to tell you in, in Gayla's voice, he is not Risa. Stay yourself off his channel is what he's going to say. <laughs> so he done already had to block people today. Well, I blocked him after he cussed them out. For real, for real. Um... But anyway, you know, people are going to do what they want to and let you know how they feel about you. Okay. Make sure you tell God all about it, okay? All right. So, I know I'm late with um, day three of Vlogmas, but I had a day. Baby AJ gave me the blues. So, by the time he went home today, honey, I sat still. Galen found a new channel. Uh, excuse me. Oh, some kind of movie channel that play classic movies. Oh, why did I find that, honey? I love me a good classic movie. So I said I was stuck. I didn't even cook dinner because I made spaghetti last night. I said y'all better finish that spaghetti. Of course, Galen didn't want spaghetti. So um, he took some ham out of the freezer and he he ate the ham. I was like, I'm so glad he found something. But um. So, um, I thought I would come and just chit chat with y'all. I don't think I haven't done one of these in a minute. Just chit chat with y'all. Um, I don't know how long this video gonna be, but I do need to straighten up my desk. I am not an organized person. Um, I've been thinking about getting rid of my my girly closet and putting all my husband's things and my things back in there. But then I'm thinking about where am I going to put all of that other stuff. So, I thought about this closet. But I got household stuff in this closet. With my desk being right here, I don't want to take the door off the hinges just to get in the closet. Or to have my stuff displayed. So, that's out. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But anyway... I'm just talking out loud to you guys. Um, I have been wanting to start planning out a menu. I have been feeling creative um, with wanting to try different things. But not quite sure. Well, today it was my intention to go to Walmart. I had some stuff that I wanted to try. See, I got Corey's folder. I got a gift. Put that aside for him to put in his mix. Corey! Hopefully he hear me. <clears throat> Come here, baby. Put your folder in your backpack, okay? Um, hand me that box over there. Let me open it since you're up here. I'm gonna put these down. Right I got two packages this week. Put that in there. Thank you, boo boo. Oh, my shoulders again, sir. What did you do to your shoulder? Come here. Take your arm out. You some tight jammies. <laughs> Let me see. Where's Sora at? Right here. Right here? Yeah, I was I was using that one. Oh yeah, I was you use your muscles. Yeah, he used his muscles and now he's sore. He just kept doing it. He got a piece of uh the tape runner and he was making what you call it, fire rings? 
You can just spin them around and it's shoulder sore. You want me to give you some Motrin? Yes. Some Tylenol or Motrin? Yeah. I'll give you some before you go to bed, okay? Yeah. All right. So I got two packages in the mail. Um, I'm going to open up. Um, but I got some. I, I've done this sausage and egg. I call it a scramble, but it's kind of like a bake or a quiche, whatever you want to call it. I want that for breakfast one day this week with the Jimmy Dean sausage, eggs. Um, I'm not in onions and bell peppers. I'm not going to put any cheese in it. So that I want to have. I want me some stuffed salmon or some type of stuffed fish or stuffed chicken breast with some garlic green beans. Um, uh, make some chili this week. Uh, I want me some chicken salad sandwiches on the croissants. Uh, I want to do Cornish hens or some really small whole chickens. Um, or chicken breast. Stuff me some chicken breast with a wild rice and mushroom concoction. Um, I'm thinking about Surprising gave them to make a chicken marsala because I haven't made it in a long time and I want some uh, stuffed grilled pork chops um, Not quite sure what I want to stuff it with though And I want a turkey breast uh, With some mashed potatoes and I want to make some turkey gravy um, So I got my little list what I need to go to the store to get I Gotta get I even though I bought that case of chicken I don't want to bother that chicken for just this one particular meal. I want some boneless, skinless chicken breast. So I think I can get a bag for like $19. Um, I'm going to get four Cornish hens. They like four something a piece because I know the kids probably not going to eat them. Um, so I can do the Cornish hens and then stuff a whole chicken for them and just bake it in the oven or either just bake them some chicken and put some wild rice and uh, mushrooms bake all of that in the same pan uh, I gotta get salmon steaks and I want a whole strip of salmon and I what was this I think it's Sam's I saw one for like $21 $27 something like that um, and Janae asked for Philly cheese steaks so that's probably about $60 $70 right there that I have to spend um, Go take your a, a treatment. I hear you wheezing. Maybe ate it because I don't know how much the chicken breast, I mean the turkey breast, gonna cost. So that's kind of sort of what I got on my little so-called meal plan. And I was inspired by a lady I watch on YouTube. Cause I watched her cook and I was like, "Ooh, that looks good. Looks good." Um. I got my little clipboard. I don't know who it was. Um, the other night was like, told me to read Psalm 91, Psalm 100, and Psalm 23. But I'm gonna have, I don't remember who it was. Because they sent me a message about something that was going on. I have to, I'm gonna check my email and see if it'll, if I can find it. But, got that. I'm going to sit this over here for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and... I got my little wig on, y'all. It's a, on a stocking cap. It's an old wig. And I'm going to try to sleep in it tonight. Hopefully, I won't get hot. If I get hot, it's coming off and going on the floor. Okay? So, I'm going to try to sleep in it. So, I don't have to get up and try to fit this bad boy back on my head. As y'all can see, I got my little chicken littles trying to stand up in the top. But I'm going to put some Lottie Body. Um, dog. What did I do with my stocking cap? I had on a stocking cap in the car. I'm going to try to wrap it with this scar. I got a mirror over here on the side. But this is what I do. I did this this morning when I put it on, and I just, till I got to my destination, 
we had to go out and pay some bills. I wore a, um, it's like a head wrap, that Velcro. I wore that. And then I put a stocking cap on top of that to hold the top down because I got some. But things started going south. <laughs> I'll make sure I get enough on there. Come on down, stocking cap. brush down as best I can see something already sticking out over here don't do me like that you better behave my hair needs to be washed that's why I'm wearing a wig but it's been too cold it was 40 something degrees this morning child hush and I both of my blow dryers have gone out so I have to be in the house 24 hours before I go out with a wet head in this cold. Mm -mm. I gotta be somewhere to where my hair can completely dry before I go out. And oh my goodness. I gotta make sure Galen gonna be home in time. Oh Lord. He gotta go to work tomorrow. Everybody gotta go to work tomorrow. And I got a mammogram appointment tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow the 4th. Mm. And he was saying he didn't know what time he was going to be home. Oh, boy. Oh, this is... See, I'm going to have to cancel it. Because... If I got to be there at 3... If I got to be there at 3 o'clock, I'm going to have AJ... I can't have a, a mammogram with him. And then, that mean I'd have to get Corey out of school at 2 o'clock. Because you have to be there early to fill out paperwork. Dang it. I just thought about that. Mm. I know it ain't on their own. Mm. I use one of these to wipe my hand till I can go in the bathroom and wash my hand. Here, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, I got a package. Oh, I can't think of what her name is. Somebody in the live the other night, and forgive me, don't charge it to my heart, uh, cause y'all names are different than your um youtube name but she told me she wanted to buy me get me a a turntable a cake what is it for your cakes and i got an email and i had asked her to go pick it up for me and she did from Michael's. And I want to say thank you to Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. She ordered me a decorating turntable. Thank you so much. I've been wanting to get one of these, but you know, but it, it slips my mind when I go out to the store. And I I drive by Michael's all the time. I don't even stop to think and look and see if they may have one in Walmart. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to get better at baking cakes. I'm not, I don't have patience for it, y'all. But I want to develop patience for it. Because uh, I like sweets. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> when you like sweets. 
you, baby. I had, I actually enjoyed making that banana pudding the other day, y'all. I did. I enjoyed it. The cracking of the eggs and mixing that and standing there and stirring it and and then um you know the icing on the cake is when somebody enjoy what you do. And so my daughter's um their friends was like, Mama, you make you know banana pudding and they didn't they don't like the bananas in it either so they was like oh i want to try that because i don't like the bananas and baby when i tell you they enjoyed that <laughs> now you don't know if it's the hack hole or what but i hope they enjoyed it oh let's go in the trash going in the trash and so then I got a box it's not totally for me it's a little bit of it's from Miss Sophia Miss Sophia let's see what all we got in this bag boy okay I think these socks are for Nana. I think these may be for Nana as well. Because they had a tag on it. So she sent Nana some socks. Here's a book for AJ. And she sent me a card. Um, this is for me, for Galen and I. It is a taste of chicken soup for the Christian soul. I need that. Uh, some flash beginning words, flashcards for Zaria. Oh, this is so sweet. Uh, let's see. Jalen and Mia, some um, mechanical pencils. She really listens because they love mechanical pencils. Oh my goodness. Um, now I don't know who these are for. This is for Ashley, a notepad praying Pray without ceasing. So I'm gonna put that on her pile. Here's some erasers. Okay, let's see. Some of the little tags have come off. Pour it, I guess. Some of this will be split up. Some index cards. Um, this is for Corey. Okay, Mia and Jalen, I think that's the pencils. Um, the Wizard of Oz activity book. Okay. He's going to enjoy that. Let me see. Put that there. And there are, is some notebook paper in here. Ooh, 500 sheets. Always can use notebook paper. And let's see. Something must be for Janae. I think the pink socks might be for Janae. I think that's it, because they, they didn't have a sticker on them. Okay. And I think that's it. I'm gonna put this on the floor. And some books for Corey. Uh, math Workstation. Okay, and he definitely can work in a reading for fourth graders. Oh, this is nice. It says practice, assess, diagnose. 180 days of reading for fourth grade. Nice little book. And this one is Guided Math Workstation. Ages, uh, grades three through five. So... Christmas break is coming up. So, all of those goodies came in that box. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Something for everybody. Except Darian. It was one person that was missing was Darian. And y'all hardly ever see Darian. Um... 
just I don't want to say he's antisocial, but he just he like his daddy. He float with the people that he know. He stick with his 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 his. These are some of the cutest pencils. Oh my word! Centos scented number two pencils. Smells good, and it says season one. Scratch and sniff. Let's see. There is a. I guess this is lemon. Little yellow pencil. Wait a minute. Or oh, is that supposed to be banana? Oh, it smells like banana. For real. Kiss my grits. Let's see. Is it a certain place you. I guess that one smell like chocolate milk. Do it say what flavors are on here? Okay, Wild Jerry. I guess Melon Lane. And they got the little characters. The little that do smell like chocolate. Isn't that something? Got to be more careful. Now I'm getting the stuff under my nails. I'm scratching, so. <laughs> Come on, Abigail. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that and I'm getting ready to scratch it again? I guess this one is grape. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to smell all of them, but... All these cute little pencils. That is so cute. So cute. I love stuff like that. I love sharpened pencils, y'all. I do. And they're real sharp. Ooh. I love to write with the sharpened pencils. So I put that over there for them. And chicken soup for Gaylin and I. Let's see what the first. Okay, we got a card. Uh, it says, You are a gift to everyone who knows you. And this is the front of the card. I like it's a little pretty, pretty card. And it says, you have a way of making days a little brighter, hearts a little happier, and problems seem a whole lot smaller. It's people like you who make the world a brighter and happier place. Blessings and love, Fifi. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it has a little butterfly on the inside. Thank you, thank you. I love that. See, if this was a, if I had my own big room, not real big, even one the size of my, maybe the den, I could put these cards up on the wall. I might tuck it in my tree. I love that. That is so pretty. Thank you so much for that. I love it when y'all send me stuff like that. Y'all send me emails and stuff encouraging me to keep pushing on. And this, you know, not that I... I need validation but you do like a nice reminder every time you're not every time but sometimes you know that of what you're doing for somebody because you don't know you don't know how I don't know how I change people's lives I don't all I know is to go and I do pray and ask God to use me you know and um, I just I don't know my husband, he tried to talk to me all the time. You know, baby, you're doing what you're supposed to do, you know, and all this kind of stuff. But I'm like, I still feel misplaced. You know what I mean? Oh, excuse me, y'all. Oh, it's hard to explain. But this is a cute little book. I'm not going to read it right now, but I'm going to put it right here in my stack of books. Nope. By the Bible, because this is going to fall over in a few seconds if I don't straighten it out. Oh, 
just gonna fall over. Just leave that like that. But then Corey got his little book. I'm gonna sit that right here. But um, so yeah, just wanted to come hang out with y'all a little bit before I go and get myself all washed up and hit the hay. Let me see. I've been going through my messages. Um, child, I saw Frugal Nista's tree and her decorations. <gasps> you talking about so cute and whimsical. Oh my goodness. I love the bright colors on that white tree. And just like the, the, the little trees that she has standing by her fireplace. They are hot pink okay like real hot pink oh i love that oh let me show y'all Jalen and mia's little tree it's a little tree i mean for real for real Corey got his little tree up Ugh. i think that's all the trees i'm doing in the house but i was it was a blessing though to find those trees on clearance and um my next project is going to be for me to Repaint Jalen and Mia's room. I want to make it more girly for them. Hey, Beanie. Whoa, you, you recording me? Say hey. Oh, is your tree on? Yes. See how it lights up, y'all? This is their little tree. They decorated themselves. I love that blue on that tree. They got their little star up there. They got their little cupcakes. Their little ice creams. And these are some bulbs that we already had. They just hang them up here. And this little, like, chandelier was from my old tree. So that's it. What? You watching uh, Steph and Tosh? Okay. Okay. I get the mixed up sometimes. I don't know. Steph you don't get it is the one that wear the ponytail. Yeah. And that's Tasha with the hat. <laughs> okay. Look. I don't know if y'all saw. I was talking to me. <laughs> this Janae's tree. Oh, music. I got to get out. Hold on. Mute it, Janae, right quick. I'm showing off your tree. This is her tree. It's a kind of like a dusty pink or it's, rose it's, it's gold. Kind of rose gold. She got a big star at the top. Up. And then you see that pink in the bulb right here. If y'all can see it. But she got some purple ones on here. That's her little tree. I was going to put one in my room, but uh-uh. I still might if I find one. Where am I going to put it, though? Probably on my nightstand. Corey done climbed in the bed with Dad and went to sleep. Okay. Here's Corey's yeah, little TV. His little, not, not his TV, but his little tree. Sitting by his TV. He got little... Yeah, little Helicopters on it. Check this out. You have this really cool maze. Little and trucks. Like and I've played with it a few times, and it's kind of tricky to get that ball. So that's his little tree, y'all. And I'm not one of his ornaments, so he decorated <laughs> himself. Once you get it up there, obviously, you can see what you're so. doing. So. Uh, Jalen in that gaming. We still kind of set up because AJ's birthday coming up. So I've been making punch when it um goes down. I've been making punch. 
dog. I want me something to eat now. I'm gonna eat a banana this time. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to eat nothing else. I haven't had the munchies like crazy for real, for real. been had the munches. I got to slow down on them sweet potato pies, y'all. I got three more in the refrigerator. Ooh. Three more. It's not good. Um. One of my sugar babies say she tired of seeing me Been down to sweep the floor, so she got me a dustpan set, and some dish cloths. Why is that cool to my tooth? I don't know. I don't like cold stuff on my tea. I really don't. Mm. My teeth are sensitive. Very sensitive. Um, let's see. Can I go to my messages? and tell some of y'all thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody. But <coughs> I want to ex um, acknowledge um, mm. So they sent a notice on YouTube over the next few days you may see a, de a decrease in your subscriber count as we remove closed accounts from your channel. Okay. <clears throat> so you go to your YouTube studio and you find out all of this. Okay, so I have 21 comments that's likely spam. Lord, here they go. Um, I'm just gonna block you, Paul Poe thing. Boasting, you know, some people are just, I just fall a wet dream. I am so, so tired. Jealous hearted people, and that's all I can say is you jealous. Let me tell y'all one thing for certain, too, for sure. I come from a long way. And I thank the Lord for every penny, every opportunity that I get to do anything outside of what my normal is. And anybody that watch my video and you think I'm a braggadocious kind of person, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Because I come and I share all kind of deals Whatever I can find. I don't shop as much as I use. Well, I don't let y'all see everything that I buy. But sometimes it takes saving to be able to do some of the things that I do. Well, pretty much all the time, okay? And I know I don't have to explain, and I'm not explaining. I'm just voicing my opinion like y'all voice y'all opinion to me. Um... Okay. I, so let me let me just go on and address this. The comment says, uh, "Do you think boasting is godly? If so, please provide the scripture that supports that." Okay. You have many people that go to bed hungry every night, and yet you are talking about spending over two hundred dollars on crab legs. 
shake my D head, okay? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, especially since you front as if you are such a godly woman. The scripture says, ye shall know a tree by its fruit, and your tree is filled with deceit, pride, ungodliness, boastfulness, idolatry, gluttony, love of money, covetousness, need I say more. What is it I covet? Hmm? What is it I covet? I don't want what somebody else has. I don't covet somebody else's man. I don't covet somebody else's house. I don't covet, I don't. Cause what's mine is mine. God has given me a gift and a talent that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I come in here, I paint when I get ready. I DIY a project when I get ready on a dime, okay? So I don't covet anything. Gluttony, you don't see me forcing down large amounts of food just because I buy a lot of food. Those crab legs, when I ate them the other night, I could barely eat a whole of them, okay? Yes, I like to eat. The love of money, um, I like money. But the love of money means you'll do anything for it. And that's a whole lie. Uh-uh. I don't do that. Um, deceit. Um, I don't know how I'm deceiving y'all. I mean, some things I tell y'all and some things I don't. It's my privilege. Um, pride. I don't think I'm a prideful kind of person because anybody that's been watching me know that I have told y'all so much about my life that maybe I shouldn't have okay so whoever this is and they got 141 subscribers but no videos um, just want to have something negative to say and they have every right but there was a question okay under my video when I did my haul of the person asking the question okay of how many crab legs is in the box that was the reason why I did the requested king crab info okay mm -hmm. um, I feel sorry for you lots of laugh so you put it out there to be seen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dress you just as like you was bold enough to put it out there for the world to see. Yes, your comment went to the spam box, and guess what? I'm going to approve it. Yes, I am. Um, but the thing about it is, you have the audacity to judge me, but won't show your face. You have the audacity to criticize or critique me, but won't show your face. You have the audacity to do all of that, but you could have emailed me. How godly are you? Okay? The Bible speaks about if a brother or sister, if you have an alt with them, you're supposed to settle that thing. You got a problem with me. You need to bring somebody with you. Okay? Another believer. And you contact me and let me know what I'm doing. You don't do it for the whole world to see. Okay? So, you find a scripture in the Bible that tells me that what you did was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. I am a godly woman. And when I say I'm a godly woman... I was created by God. Okay, I believe in him. Now, do we all follow everything that he do? No, but I'm a work in progress and I'm going to get it. But one thing I do is I love. I show kindness and I'm talking to you like you're a human being. Okay, this is my channel. This is my life. It's mine. You don't like it. You don't have to watch. But you thinking you spoiling my day by saying all of that? No. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to try my best to rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't say the whole day was going to run smoothly. But I still have the choice to smile and be kind and love to those. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, it's a billion other channels out there you can watch. But I know why you doing what you're doing. You're being fueled by your father. Okay? I know why you're doing that. If it's something that you don't like about somebody, you're not going to give them the time of day. That's the time of day. I'm having me a blocking good time. Because I'm gear, I'm blocking a whole lot of y'all. Um in my spam. That's why you're in the spam box. And I'm here to tell y'all, don't nobody have to deal with that foolishness. Don't nobody have to deal with that. Even though I'm here on YouTube by personal choice, it's called block. And I see what you fuel with. Because when you make another channel and come back to say what you got to say, that's hate. That's hatred. Hatred. Um, shout out to Tina Walters. Um, she told me to go check out Cooking with Alethea's. Uh, Cooking with Alethea. And I think I may already be subscribed. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that comment. Um, let's see who else. I don't know why people it's like the end of the month the first of the month i get a lot of negative comments and she's talking about people around here hungry you right you right people are hungry and i'm bragging about paying 200 dollars. do you know how long it took me to get to where i would pay that mm -hmm. shout out to michelle lightsey uh tamara thompson Am I not supposed to enjoy my life? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Miss Miki one. Tina Bradway. Lynette Jackson. Selena Parasol. Brunel Livingston. Arlie uh, Ramsen, uh, Black Queen, Loretta Wilson, and that is everybody from the spam box. All 27. Now, the hell for review is a horse of a different color. There's 875 people. Good, Google Muggle. 875 people. I'm just going to call out um, Deborah Pruitt, Venus Unlocked, um, A Day in the Life of V, says I'm a new subscriber. I have been subscribed for about a month now. I love your channel and your family is awesome. Thank you, V. God bless you, sweet pea. And welcome. Uh, Ms. Risa, you always put me in the mood to cook and clean for my family on days when I'm just not feeling up to it. Thank you so much for sharing your graciousness with your YouTube family. Thank you, Venus. And you are so welcome. I just saw this video a month later. Girl, forget about the haters. People hate when their lives are sad. But it's not going to make anything better. By you being mean and hateful to somebody else. It's not going to make life better for you. It's not. It's not. Thanks for sharing your haul. That phone pad is great. The rebate we have used at Sam's. In fact, I bought goods for the video. Okay, that's BH. Thank you, Sweet Pea. 
Asia means hey so girl uh, I don't know what I would do without you and your hauls oh my god between your hauls and cooking videos I don't know which one I love more love you girl keep it up please thank you Asia I'm gonna do my best uh, shout out to Gwen Williams you are so welcome uh, a new subscriber is Felicia Van Norman thank you for watching she's been watching for about a month maybe I need to come back and do a shout out video because this is 45 minutes in and um, <laughs> half of y'all not going to even get 10 minutes in And put it down below. I'm getting ready to see. Put it down below how many minutes in I said. Mm-hmm. Put it down below. I'm going to see how many people answer that question. Mm-hmm. I love how you show your family in a positive light. Uh, thank you, Essence. Um, I know I was saying about the Costco uh, membership card that they don't give you rewards back. Uh, I stand corrected with the executive member card. You do get rewards back, and I do believe it is 2% as well. It may be a little more than that. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, one of the, my subscribers did remind me that they do. Um, one Reminded me that Nicocado Avocado was saying about his rewards that he got back from. But I shop at Costco, but not as frequent as I do Sam's. Because Sam's has the chips. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that I, that I purchase. Um, now... Costco do have chips, but they don't have a wide variety. So I may, I mainly get crab legs, those king crab legs. I get my aluminum pans. I get my toilet paper and paper towels. I get my dish detergent. Um, and I get my rice from Costco. That's all the time. Now, I will pick up fruits and vegetables from there. And other things, if I take my time and I, I have the money to, you know, while I'm grocery shopping, if I walk down all of the aisles, I might find some stuff that I just pick up while I'm in there. But I do know in Sam's, well, the Sam's near me, they have turned it around. Try to change the whole store around. So I got to learn what everything is. But I know what they have. I know Costco, they switch out stuff often because you can go in and you can find something that you like and then child go back two weeks later it's not there anymore it's they just don't have it um but staples i have staples at costco that i know have been the rice the big bag of parboiled rice the aluminum pans the toilet paper the paper towels they always have milk they always have eggs cheese you know meats and things like that um and I like, I like, you know, I like that. I like uh, their clothing. I like Sam's clothing. Certain things in Sam's. I like Costco's clothing better than I do Sam's. Um, Costco is where I got my Fila sweatsuits from, the pants and the sweatshirt. Um, and they were, I think they were $14.99 and they went to $12.99. And I think I caught the pants for uh, $9.99. So Costco and Sam's do have things that I love. Um, so let me see. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Turn it off. Um, so, yeah, you get 2% back on your rewards. <laughs> and I have only earned $8.06. Mm-hmm. And I've been a member with them since November of 2018. As much, as much as I go in there, that's all I got. See, that's the difference between Costco and... But I do go to Costco often. It's certain items 
that you have to get. And a lot of times it's like major pro purchases. So, um, and that's all I got, $8.06. Now, every year with Sam's, I have gotten money back. I think the first time I got money was $40. Um, then the second year was seventy dollars. This year was one forty, one forty six, to be exact, and some change. And already I have occurred seventy dollars, and it's just not even the, the end. I mean, shoot. <laughs> so I do like Costco. I do like Sam's, and I thank you guys for reminding me or letting me know. To check the rewards because I do have that card um, and anybody can get that card if you want to pay the money for it and um, one of those stores used to have it to where I don't know if it was Sam's it's like if you had a particular card you used to go shop on certain days that everybody else couldn't shop I don't think they do that anymore um, but but yeah so I enjoy going to Costco. Now, the Costco on another side of town, which is like 45 minutes away. I don't know why I like that one better. It's like the setup is better and the items seem to be a little bit different. I don't know why. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But I don't drive over there because, honey, it's called going across the bridge, around the corner, down the street, cross another bridge over the river through the woods and I will wind up in somebody else's hood okay mm -mm. um I'll let Galen take me so I don't since we have one not even 10 minutes away from my house I go to that one now so um I like it I do I've been woo child Amazon to get you I was gonna try my hand at shopping y'all I had two hundred and $20 worth of stuff in my my cart on Walmart. I'm looking at the prices of some of that stuff. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not what I pay in the store, baby. It's still in the cart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Most of the stuff I deleted. No, okay, so the grocery stuff, <laughs> I deleted. And then I started over. Um, because I got two Walmart apps, one on both of my phones. And I'm trying to, let me see which one I left. Because I shopped on one for the grocery and the other one was straight Walmart. And oh, uh, excuse me, y'all. Let me see, let me see. How do I get to the grocery? The groceries. How did I do it? Let me see. Oops. I'm going to type cereal and see what come up. I think my, um, you know how your box reset itself? I think that's what my box is trying to do, trying to reset itself. Because my internet is moving slower than molasses. I'm going to hit that. Let me see. I'm going to add the cart and see what it do. Mm, this bad boy jumping like jumping beans. What's going? What's really going on? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this is not the grocery one. Girl, this is the household. I got three hundred and twenty dollars worth of stuff in my household cart. Okay, some of the stuff is out of stock. That's what I do. I go through the app and I see stuff that I want and I just add it to my cart. 
and sometimes I'll go back the chi the the price has dropped. Okay, I don't need the um and if I don't need it right now, I put it in save for later. So that when I do need it, I can go back. It'll be down there. I just go to my save box. Um, that's out of stock. Save that for later. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I don't need this rug. Because I already have it. Okay, so both of my... Both of them are different. But look at this. Both of them had 11 items in it. I don't know how that worked, but it is that's what it was. Okay, so the rug that I do want, it says it only has two left. And it's $69.99. The pillows are okay. I don't need to order no more pillows. No, I know I don't. Okay, the rug that I want is out of stock, safe for labor. Okay, now on this one, the total is two fifteen, and I got Christmas lights. Ooh, child, look, Cuisinart Specialty Appliance Kitchen Pro Food Slicer. I have always wanted me a food slicer. Fifty nine ninety nine. Well, you know you get the long loaf of bologna or turkey or something. You know how you go to the deli and they put it on that machine and they slice it. That's what I. That's what that is. It's fifty nine ninety nine regular price seventy nine ninety nine. So I got that in my cart. Um. Uh, a hand mixer. Cuisinart has a six-speed classic hand mixer with stainless steel beaters, blades, and dough hook for twelve twenty-eight. That's in my cart. Why did I put this food process in there? Cause I don't know. Cause my girl, uh, Happy Dimple, she bought me one. So I don't know why I put. Maybe because it was just twenty-five dollars. Um, I do need another can opener. Twenty-seven dollars and fifty cent. It's a real tall one, so that'll help me open the big cans. Y'all, I bought a handheld. Uh, what's the real name brand? Hand, uh, I don't. It wasn't Hamilton Beach. It was a good name brand. Sturdy. Tell me why Galen broke it. That dude got some strength out of this world. I'm telling y'all. For those of you that are new, y'all don't know, Galen, I can't let him do certain things because he'll tear it up. My knobs on my sink, I'm like, well, who broke the knobs on the sink? I already knew who it was. He he let me fuss at the kids. He ain't saying that. He talking about because I didn't want to hear your mouth. Both sinks, turning it too hard and split, I mean, cracked it in a thousand pieces. Our rear view mirror on the truck was down. Who snatched it out the window? Galen. Mm-hmm. Uh, stuff that I really need him to really tighten up or, you know, stuff like that, where he got to use that strength, I call him for it. But stuff, look, you, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. They had these holiday galvanized deer for your yard. I put it in my cart, but I'm... I'm afraid to decorate the outside. So I think I'm going to put just lights in the windows. Because last year they stole my lights out of the yard. You know, you have the little projector light that put the images on your house. Stole it right out of the yard like it was theirs. Mm-hmm. My neighbors say, <laughs> a roguish so-and-so's I hope when they get it home it don't work. Girl, I was rolling. I was laughing. I was laughing. Yes, I was. I was rolling. <laughs> but I got some Christmas lights in my cart. So, it's safe for later. But yeah, I'm just talking to y'all, telling y'all my business like that. Um, I don't know about a tree skirt. Tree skirts cost too much money, y'all. Y'all see that? I mean, like thirty dollars for a tree skirt. Why? I'm going to Joanne Fabrics and see can I find me some gold glittery or either blue, plain royal blue um, fabric for both of these trees and throw it around the bottom. That's all I'm gonna do. It don't need to be nothing. I might if I could find a blanket that color. Like a little $5 blanket. 
I'll put that around the bottom just to show my name what it is. Mm hmm. Okay, so on the Walmart app at the bottom it says services. Let me see what it say on my other phone because I'm looking at the iPhone. Okay. Let me go to home. So services is not at the bottom on this one. That's my Android. Okay, so let me see. I think it's in the top left corner. The three, four lines. What is that? Three lines? Three lines. And you just scroll down and it just gives you services. So you got the Walmart card, card money services. So with money services, and this is not a paid thing. I just want y'all to know. Um, kind of give y'all some options. You know, you have family members, you have children that may be in college. There are so many ways that you can send funds, okay, or receive funds. You can do it through Walmart, which is like Money Grandma or Western Union or something like that. But it's through their money services. So now they have um, where you can start the process on your phone. And then there's a thing that you just... Um, it's a barcode once you get in the store you let them scan it okay and then complete your process so you can pay a bill on the money services you can receive money and send money so y'all check that out for those that not afraid to um oh child they got a thing on here called custom cakes hold on I'm gonna tell y'all about that too um so that's the they got the baby registry. You can create a list, wedding registry, your weekly ads, your Walmart credit card, photos. Um, you can start a return. If you want to return something, you can start it on your phone and complete it in the store. That way you don't have to do a whole lot. I think it gives you a barcode you scan and they just you be done with it. Um, always, 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 always scan your receipts, okay? on the Walmart app. Now, what they used to do is called Savings Catcher. They don't do that anymore. Somebody told me that um, I needed, con you can get a, a gift card. Well, they, and as far as I know, they don't do that anymore. So, because I I was the queen of that, okay? Every receipt, I don't even care if I only bought two items. I scan my receipts. If that's the case, then where my gift card at? Because I scan my receipts because I don't keep up with receipts all the time. And so when I get in the store, I can pull up my receipts and um and don't have to worry about it. It's stored on the Walmart app. And even if you go online, you still have access to it because it's on your account. So protection plans. Um, when you buy certain things, your protection plan, you can find it under the services thing as well. If they don't give you one in the store. Or if you want to purchase a protection plan, you can. Uh, Charlie got it to where you can buy a car on this thing. Mm. And then it's the Walmart grocery. You can click Walmart grocery and it'll take you to the Walmart grocery part. Uh, I don't know what this monthly payment plan is. Let me see what that is. Mm. Oh, a firm. That's what that is. Okay. So it's like a firm is a way that you can pay. Um, it's a buy now, pay later, or not really pay later, but buy now, pay monthly thing, but you have to get approved for it. Okay. You for eligible items between $144 to $2,000. Pre-qualifying won't affect your credit score. Okay, so that's what that is. Let me go back. Um, they got something called Santa here at the bottom. Let's see what that is. I'm going to click on the other one. Custom Cakes. Come on, Santa. Kid HQ. EKO. I don't know what this. What in the world? Oh, visit Santa's workshop. Walmart Toy Lab. Mm -mm, I don't need Corey to see none of that. For those of you that have been with me for a long time, 
I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but baby Corey discovered Walmart online. I'm so glad I didn't have my debit card and my credit cards attached to that thing then. When homeboy saw me, he said, Mama, he left. He said, Mom, look, I've been shopping on Walmart. What he had? $3,000 worth of stuff? It was either three or five, something like that. $1,000 worth of stuff in the cart. Oh, my goodness. I had to tell him, you got to stay off of that home skillet. I had to log out because <laughs> it was my computer and he was up here using it and I, girl, it would have been a whole mess, a whole mess. Okay, so the custom cake thing says your dream cake awaits. So you can basically design the cake that you want and have them to make it. Fully uh, customizable sheet cake start at $9.98 to $47.98. Um, unicorn creation cakes. $14.98 to $56.98. Toy Story 4 Kit Cake. $14.98 to $56.98. So it's basically telling you, you know, you want to have a cake made for your child's birthday or a special occasion. It says we hand decorate our bakery. We'll create the perfect custom cake. Choose from our many flavors and decorative options. Then select a convenient pickup time. Okay, so they just putting everything at your fingertips, basically. Let's go back. But, um... Oh, excuse me. Ooh. But anyway... I've been over here an hour talking to y'all. So, y'all got an hour with a little chit-chat. <laughs> with Risa. Let me, um, I'm going to go and get myself all, all squared away. Hold on one minute. Let me end this video. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for hanging with me tonight. I'm going to title this bad boy Blogmas Day 3. And y'all be intentional. And y'all continue to be a blessing. And y'all let go of that negativity and hate. It ain't going to do nothing but get you in trouble. It will. Y'all got the answer to the Lord for everything you do. Okay? He done told you about your mouth. And even if you ain't saying it, as a man thinking, so is he. Okay? So your thoughts turn into your words and your words turn into your actions and your habits. Your actions turn into your habits. So stop yourself. Stop the devil from using you. Don't let him beat you up like that. He's abusing you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to reap that bad boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I know I'm not a perfect person. I know I have some ways. And I tell y'all, I know I need the Lord. To, I, but I got to make a decision on stuff that I do and what I don't do. But what I don't want to do is uh, be untruthful with y'all. So I know I'm a work in progress. Always. As long as I have breath in my body. But I do appreciate you guys coming over and watch. I do appreciate you um, just being intentional, giving words of encouragement. It's not that I want y'all to amen everything that I do because I know I don't do everything right. But thank you for those of you that choose not to say nothing. I know it's a lot of stuff y'all don't agree with, but you keep it to yourself, you know, and... The word does tell us that when we see somebody commit a sin, we're supposed to pray for them, okay? Because there are certain sins that we can commit that don't lead to death. He said pray. He didn't say for you go and try to handle it. You go and try to beat them to death. Be mean and nasty or judgmental. He said pray. Look it up for yourself if y'all don't believe what I'm saying. I'm here to tell you it's there, okay? And, um... I still appreciate you. I still, and you know, even with the negative comments, it just reminds me of how good God is because I am here on this earth because he called me. He put me here, okay? And if I had to depend on man, whether I live or die, whether I eat or sleep, y'all have been put me in the grave a long time ago, ripped me to shreds. 
But I thank him for the weapon that he has already told me that will form, but it will not do what it is set out to do. So that is totally blocked. And I just ask the Lord to bless you. I ask him to help you, all of you, the good and the bad, because I cannot appreciate the, the, the loving and encouraging people if I don't see the bad, you know, because you can get used to stuff flowing the way you want it. It don't do nothing to you no more if you just always have the good. So, and it also reminds me of the kind of person I don't want to be. I, it's stuff that I see that I might not agree with or, I, you know, but that's just the individual person. It doesn't mean that my, my thoughts and things affect your life. It don't. But what I do want, if I am living the life that God has called for me to live, if I'm living right, if I believe in God's word and I know what it says, then I'm supposed to live it and then be that example for somebody else. I don't have to tell somebody that they ungodly. I don't have to tell somebody that they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But if I got a problem with you, if we've had a disagreement or if you've done something to hurt me, I'm supposed to try to make it right. Or if I've done something to hurt you, I'm supposed to try to make it right. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Move on. But that is true. Every seed that you sow, you shall reap with joy and singing. And God has shown me time and time again, he will make your enemy your footstool, baby. He'll bring them back and make them apologize. It's not that I need your apology. I want you to see the error of your ways. And stop letting the devil use you like that. Because the devil ain't going to... Look, because when you stand before God, the devil already got his own fate sealed. But when you stand before God, you got to answer for all of that. Now the, now the question is, do you believe in what you're telling me? Do you believe in the stuff that you're criticizing me about? If you believe it, if you believe in anything that God says, then why do exactly as he's telling you not to do? He says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I shall repay it. He says that there's power in your tongue. You, There's life and death is in, the, is in your tongue. Life and death. Why would you want to speak death on somebody? I'm not going to do it. I ask him to bless you. So y'all be intentional about being a blessing. We get, It's almost the end of this year, y'all. Make a decision. You don't want to take this mess over in the 2020. Okay? Y'all know 2020 is supposed to be clear vision, right? We got a 2020 is going to be the clear vision of where we're going and what we're doing, who we are. The kinks had to be worked out in this, in this season, but it'll be a clear vision. We got time now. Every single day God wake you up is a blessing for you to get it right. That includes me. Lord knows I want to be ready when he called me home. But one thing I don't want him to have to chastise me about is being mean and nasty and unloving and uncaring. How about you? Y'all have a good night. Love, peace, and many blessings to you. Bye, sugar.